I've had to radically rearrange my shop um, in order to get this boat to fit better so I can walk around it. Um, today, what I am about to do is seal part of the boat. This edge right along here, some people say if water gets in the hull, it's because it goes in through that edge. Now, I'm not sure if it does or not. Um, I'm looking at it. Um, it's got some screws periodically. I understand there are staples underneath here also holding it together. I don't think that it has any sealer in it. I think this is molding goes over the edge of it, and they hope for the best. So what I've got is some exterior silicon. And no, I do not have marine silicon. Uh, well, for one reason, um, I'm not going in the ocean. And another reason is, is I can buy 10 tubes of this for a tube of the marine silicon. Um, if it's a problem, which I don't think it's going to be as far as this, um, I could always seal it again. Um, and I could use the good stuff, the marine stuff, if I had to. But this will have to do for now. And um, it's a kind of an added precaution of something that probably won't even happen. But in order to do this, I have to turn this boat upside down. I don't have high ceilings. I have a couple of saw horses and um, not a ton of room. So I'm not looking forward to doing that, but it's gonna be done. Then I'm gonna flip it back. So I will spare you that Keystone Cops Three Stooges sort of event, because that's what it's gonna kind of be. I'll be back when I flipped it. Okay, something that has me a little irked um, on this edge trimming, there's a screw here, and there's a screw way down here, but in the middle, there's nothing. So, I can see this ripping off at some point, so I'm gonna put a couple more screws, and what I've got, I've got some stainless steel self-tapping hex um, screws on here for a sheet metal, and um, they're, uh, left over from studying my snowblower tires. And I've got quite a few of them, so I'm gonna put a couple around the bottom and later around the top also. Well, I got it back up on the stand again. That was something to see. Glad you didn't see it. For anybody wondering why I'm sealing this, and especially why I'm putting screws in, well, this one is pretty loose and take a look now I'm not too worried about the staples I mean there's a lot of them in there but I can see me ripping this rubber edge off so I'm gonna go and be very generous with the um, stainless um, screws that I put in for anyone interested um, I had a previous tube uh, silicon open so that took about half a tube to do with the bottom and top of the boat in the areas where it was kind of loose like this where I had to put a screw in I was able to take and push the um, the silicon down inside before I put the screw on the rest of it uh, I sealed the edge sometimes it went under the edge a little bit um, I don't even know if it was really necessary but I figured why not while I have it here easier to do it now than later and uh, that took about 
30 minutes to do and, and wipe down. It actually went pretty quick. Well, I am going to be putting a floor on here. Now, the reason that people put floors, from what I understand, is that this rib design, which adds strength to the, to the flooring, um, actually is not very good to walk on. Um, even uh, with like sandals or something. So I will believe everybody since they all put floors on from what I can see. Various ways of doing this. Um, I've seen people take plywood and seal it and then wrap it in pool carpet. Um, there are people who just buy black runners, you know, that you would put outside on a walkway, um, a mat, and then run it out and cut it. And that looks like a good idea too, although they're not that thick. <clears throat> I think any of these ways would be fine. One of the ways is to buy this, um, this foam um, jigsaw puzzle put together sort of uh, uh, mat that they use in, uh, in gyms and, um, you know, for doing yoga and stuff like that. Um, I don't know exactly what I want yet. So for $20, I was able to buy a package of these that'll be enough to do this floor. And um, it would be easily changed out. Even if I had the boat down by the water and not up here in the shop, if I wanted to make something out. So this is maybe a permanent, maybe a temporary flooring that I'll be putting in. Um, but I'm going to put something, this was an easy way to go right now until I figure out if it's something that's really going to work well. Um, I could, you know, I envision having this down and it being fine for, you know, for the time I have the boat. I envision it maybe, you know, in a year or two or uh, getting a little um, dirty or, or maybe scuffed or torn and just replacing it for another $20 or I could envision doing something completely different. Um, but it is, for those who ever do this, the boat is about 20, 21 and a half inches, and this foam, foam mat is 24 inches. So it's a little bit too wide. Um, and I'm thinking, particularly if I could put it in the table saw, that if I could cut all of these pieces off on the end nice and cleanly and you can see it comes with with an edging uh, right here it's already added to it but i i don't think i'll need that if i can cut these off square i have to measure more carefully and it, it, it should fit probably right in the bottom i will cut it i cut both sides off and then just hook it together end to end from what i understand you're going to be careful how you hook it together because when you put one on, the next one could be offset a little bit, depending on where these jigsaw pieces connect. So I'm going to check that out first and then uh, try to get these cut out. I can definitely cut them with a razor knife, but if I could just slide it through the saw with a fence, that would be so cool without tearing them up. Just thought I'd show you this. Not too many people have seen a folding rule like this that has an inside extension then you can slide it out and put it right in there and it gives you an exact inside measurement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these so that they actually just hug the bottom of this curve. Um, you know, I don't want to squash them. I don't want them bending up. Um, I think I'll cut myself a little piece of wood first and uh, see if that, that fits. It's this length. Well, this piece of plywood, which is hard, uh, has about an eighth inch proud on top of here, but the mat is flexible. So I think this width would be just about right. Well, I just cut one of these pieces, which I don't expect I'll need, and it cut very cleanly. So table saw it is. bringing it in to that measurement. And by the way, um, if you were to do this, they're two foot squares, you're going to need four and a little bit of another one. So you need five in all. They come in a package of six. So square edge here and cutting to width here.
Now I'm about to cut the angles on the bow over here, but I have to be careful because this fits together this way. But if I were to turn this around, it doesn't match up. So they have to go a certain way all the way down the trail. So I need to make sure that I cut this end over here. Well, boy, fit a lot better than I ever thought it would. That's great. This is great. Now, to assemble these pieces and then work on the other end. I can see that this seam goes right in this trough, so I'm gonna to have to put a little piece of, of something under there to uh, give it some, some support underneath. And I'll check each one of the other seams, and if they're the same thing, I'll have to do the same thing. These will be glued together, by the way. And, but I do have to cut out an area for the water to drain here because I'm not planning on putting in, what do they call them? A, anyway, some kind of a plug like they have in kayaks because some people like them, some people have had problems with them. So I do have in my old boat that I will be trashing, I do have a small pump that draws from the bottom and I am gonna put a tube that comes up over the side here. Um, so there'll be a switch, it'll be connected to the, to the battery and I'll be able to drain the boat. Um, should we ever get any slosh over the side or if uh, it rains while I'm out. Well, that came out pretty good. A little shy on this side. I'm not gonna to worry too much about it. And I'm gonna make something to go into here because these are gonna cave in. I have to check each other seam to see if there are any more like that. I've got this old piece of cutting board, nylon cutting board that uh, left over from an old project. And there's just enough of that to make some some pieces to go in there to keep the uh, the edges from from caving in. So I need to cut this up into strips and fit them in. Well, I wish they were a little thicker, but that's all right. Someone said they had a hard time getting anything to stick to the plastic on this boat, but I put a little dab of silicon on the underside of the boat and it stuck and it turned hard. So I know we're good. There's a filler here. That's where a seam is going to be. And there's a lot of plastic here, but there's a seam right here. And the one that goes along the back. 
There is one right here, but it's on top of a high spot, so that's good. Now, my next goal is to glue the jigsaw part of the mat together. I have hot glue, I've got silicon, I have CA glue or super glue. Um, it's porous, so I know that wood glue would work on it, but I don't have waterproof wood glue, so that's not good. So I gotta think about this. This is the back side of the mat. And I want to glue these pieces together. And I think silicon is the way to do it. Um, if I sort of bend this, I can get to the edges of each of the, uh, the puzzle pieces, I guess you call them. And then I could put the silicon on here. And when I push it back down, if there's any squeeze out, it should come to the surface and not to the other side, which really is the top. Now, I don't want to disturb it too much, but I do want to take a quick look and see what it looks like on the other side. And it's clean. Okay. It's too long to glue the two halves together um, I'm going to leave them as they are um, and let them dry so that um, they'll have time to do that. Looks good. Eh, time to call it a day. Thanks for watching. There'll be other episodes coming up. Oh, let me show you something. This It's a set of switches and a, a battery gauge. Just for volts, though. It's not a big deal and two, years, two USB ports in it. But what's nice about it is that it's waterproof, it's an aluminum box, and it's got, once I mount it with the screws, it's got a mount that I'll be able to put it on the bottom and mount it to the boat. So, thanks for watching. Till I see you next time. Like and subscribe. It'll let you know when a new video comes up and um, this type of thing will float to the top to anyone who is looking for something that has to do with this.